It's 1945, and the Second World War is coming to an end. 40-year-old Leonard Clark is a teacher of poetry and school's inspector in Plymouth. He's come back to the Forest of Dean, to his childhood playground of Chestnut's Wood. I remember the sadness I felt when I was last here. Six years ago, the war clouds had gathered. My mother had died. And this, my beautiful woods had been destroyed. All those years ago in 1939, I faced so much unhappiness. But look, I see myself long before that, on a day in late summer. There I am, <laughs> legs and feet bare. Face freckled, shirt open at the neck. Skipping through streams, shrieking with joy. As a boy, I used to imagine the ancient Britons crouching low, waiting for the Roman legions to cross the River Severn. I imagined Robin Hood here too, and William of Normandy hunting red deer. And of course, there were gnomes and fairies in my childhood fantasies. In the autumn, I used to meet the long timber wagons rattling through the woods, scoring deep, squelchy ruts in the tracks, with the carters singing and the horses' harness jingling. I learnt the ways of the forest from the old crown woodsman. Frank Edwards, Sam Cowmeadow, Jack Fisher, lovely characters. But look, they have planted these beautiful oak saplings. What a symbol of hope. I feel renewed. There is going to be a better future. There must be no more walls. There must be no more ripping down ancient trees. Our country needs peace. And we must turn our minds to looking after our heritage and beauty. It's our future. I hope these beautiful oak saplings grow strong and true and last 150 years. No. A thousand and fifty years. Ten years. Fifty years. Seventy years. I will be long gone by then. It will be two thousand and something. What will life be like then? Will children still be playing in my woods? I hope so. Leonard Clark's career blossomed and he went on to write many books of poetry. Several of them were for children. He never returned to live in the Forest of Dean, but continued to visit and write about it for the rest of his life.